I did a tutorial on how to merge text with a document inside Affinity Publisher, however, the new 2.0.3 update has shifted some of the buttons around and we need an update to explain the changes and the methodology once again. Here is the example of the Excel or in my case, the Google Sheet that I am going to merge into the Affinity Publisher document. We have the title field and the name and surname. You can have any fields with data created. Often membership cards would have other fields included. For our example, we are keeping it to two fields. Let's export this spreadsheet. We are exporting it from Google Sheets as an Excel.xlsx file, which we will import and merge into Affinity Publisher. As mentioned before, the version that has the changes of the menus for merging started from version 2 upwards. Here I have set up a sample card, with static text, which is the word welcome and the two merge fields, labeled title and name. Now these are in essence acting as placeholders, since I will replace them with active merge data files which will pull through the data from the Excel file. So previous versions, the data merge manager menu resided here in the document menu, however, it has now been moved to the Windows drop-down menu as we see it here as data merge manager. Now when clicked it will open this dialog window. This manager is blank and requires an input of a data source, in our case the Excel file, which we can import by clicking the icon at the bottom left, called Add Data Merge Source. Let's click it and select the name list file we created, and open it. This data merge dialog contains some key elements to note. Let's start from the top, the source, this indicates the source file we just loaded with the relevant details you can access. The next is the filter. The preview, we will use this later, but it is essential to see whether the merged files are pulling through and then the merge pages. Make sure the merge is enabled and in our case, we want the repeat to be all pages. Important at this stage is not to click generate. That gets done only at the final stages. Now for access to the fields menu item, which is used to place the dynamic fields into the document. We open the windows menu, then select reference and you will see field. You will see the field dialog box pop up. I suggest you collapse the menu by clicking the arrow on the left of the expansion list. Now you want to select the last item data merge name of the imported Excel file. Here you will see the headings on the left of the fields you created in the Excel sheet and the the same inside brackets less that and greater than. Now the key is to select the text in the document that you want to have replaced with a merged text, in our example select the text title. It is important to ensure the entire text is selected, you can achieve this by double-clicking or clicking on the text and pressing Ctrl and A, this will select all the text. As in this case, selecting the entire word title. Now double-click the title label in the fields dialog box. You will see the word title on the document change and have a less that and greater than on either side. This indicates that it is now an active merge field which will pull in the title field from the loaded Excel file. Repeat the same with the placeholder called name by selecting all the name text and then clicking the field name, which in this case will be name and surname. This will now insert a merge field in the active field, and in this case it was named name and surname in the Excel spreadsheet, that's why it shows up like this. Now we are going to merger the fields from the Excel file by going back to the data merge manager in the window menu. Important to note, that if you have the field selected on the document, it will only merge that data, for example, if I select name and surname, the title will not be affected. Therefore, ensure that you click off those labels so that the merger takes place on all fields. If you want to see the preview of the merge before you perform the full generation, then check the preview box and you will see the name pulling through. To cycle through the fields, click the arrow and go through to record 2 then 3 and so forth. Now it's time to generate all the records, which in our case is 3. You notice this document has not yet been saved, so let's do that. Once again open Data Merge Manager, then click Generate. This will generate the documents based on how many sets of fields have been requested, in our case we generate all the Excel records which equals a total of 3, with 2 fields each, title and name surname. Notice after generating, another document tab opens which contains the 3 generated records. This tab is untitled. Let's close the field dialog box. Let's save this document with the 3 files and thereafter export each one separately. 
Now it's time to export each page as an individual document, we will choose the default PNG, however on export, however you can export in any format as usual. On area title, select all pages or whatever your choice is. Give the file a name, note that the name will modify as labeled here, with a number at the end. In this example, it will be print ready welcome invite underscore one, then two, then three and so forth. It may take a short while to export if there are many documents to export. Here we have the three exported records. And that's it. I trust this information assists you, have a blessed day and shalom to all.